Today we're going to do a little more on our media computer. We now have two of these Noctua 5 volt fans which we're going to fit today. Here we have the 5 volt fan and we're going to be using one of these splitter cables so we can mount two fans in this unit. And I have already prepared, with the facilities that come with the fan, the little joining units so I can connect a small connector which goes into the Odroid board to the standard connector into which the fan will actually connect. And we'll be using the Y connector so that we can connect two fans to the Odroid. So I prepared one of these ahead of the game. We have effectively set our fan and mounted it into the front of the case using two of these angled brackets. These angled brackets do allow you a fair bit of flexibility on how you position the fan within the case. So as we said before we're putting one fan at the front of the unit to pull air in and we're going to mount the second fan down in this corner to pull air out of the box itself. Now the next thing I want to tackle is how we fasten the base of the unit. There are two mechanisms by which we can actually attach the polypropylene perforated sheet to the frame. One approach is to use the bolts in the grooves and fasten little nuts on the top. This will do the trick nicely, but these do protrude slightly out from the edge. What I'm going to use today is two of these small machine nuts which actually slide into the grooves. These can be used with the standard bolts. And these give an effect which is lower profile and much neater looking. So this is what we're going to do to connect the polypropylene base to the case. And here we see the four in place, one at each corner. Now to allow the unit to sit slightly proud of the base it's sitting on, we're going to attach four silicon feet. These are all self-adhesive, so quite easy to attach. And there we go. This will allow a little bit of airflow underneath the unit to improve ventilation even further. So all we need to do now is to affix the extract fan in the corner. Down here. So just as we did with this fan, we're going to fit two of these brackets onto the fan itself. For this we'll use the slightly longer bolts. And 
that's the first one attached and now for the second one Now that we have both of these attached, we need to mount them to the horizontal strut. So we will take this horizontal strut out to allow us to attach it. And we will position this in the corner, like so. And that is our second fan now mounted. Now all we need to do is to complete the wiring. And we can arrange our cables so they don't obstruct the wall airflow. Now that is most of the wiring complete within our Odroy computer. We still have to connect the power switch to the GPIO header. This will allow us to power on the computer remotely from the front switch as opposed to the switch on the board itself. Now the Odroy board also has five very small LEDs down in this corner of the board to indicate what the computer is actually doing. Now it's a shame we can't actually get that information shown on the front panel. So what I'm going to attempt in the next video is to use a fiber optic cable to display this information on the front panel by running one of these through the front panel and over to where the LEDs sit. But that's it for today. Thank you for watching.